What's up, Concrete Freaks? My name is Tyler Lay. In this video, we're gonna work an example problem of a doubly reinforced concrete beam. We're gonna find the nominal moment for this beam. The D prime is 2.5 inches. The D is 18 inches. The width is 12. Okay, this bottom dimension is three. We have six number nine bars, two number nine bars. F prime C is 5,000, 60 KSI. Let's find this maximum nominal moment. The first step is to set the tension equal to the compression. We get this equation, we simplify this to just this C. This C is very important. We actually know everything in this C, but we don't know F prime S. We don't know it. We know the area of steel, we can get that. We know our Fy. We know the AS prime, what's that again? That's the area of compression steel. We do not know F prime S, we don't know it. We know point A5, we know F prime C, B, and we know beta. This is a good idea to get to this as fast as you can. Solve this ter in terms of F prime S. Solve this in terms of F prime S. Next, we're going to assume an F prime S. What number should you choose? It really depends on how big your beam is. If your beam's pretty deep, then you're gonna wanna assume this is pretty close to 60 KSI. If your beam is not very deep, then it may be a lot lower. How do you know? Let's just pick 60 and see what happens. We're gonna pick 60 KSI, we're gonna assume it's a yield. We're gonna solve for what our C is, which in this case would be 5.88, and now we're gonna check our assumption. We check our assumption by actually finding what the stress would be at this steel. So we have to find the strain at the top, the strain at this steel, and multiply by the modulus. Using similar triangles, it would be C minus D prime over C. This is equal to 87 times C minus 2.5 over C. So we've got this equation, we've got this equation. Now it's time to start to iterate. I guess 60 KSI, I get 5.88. I put it into this equation. What comes out is 50 KSI. Oh no, it's not right. I made a bad assumption, but it's not that far off. 60 and 50 aren't that far off. Now, if I would have got a negative number, or if I would have been like way far off, then I might want to pick a different number. But 60 and 50, not that far off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to average them. I'm going to take, I assumed 60. I got 50. I'm going to divide by two. This is kind of like smart guessing. And I get 55 KSI. And I work the problem again. I plug in for my C. Okay, I get 6.13. I solve again for my F prime S. That's the equation I showed you before. That's this one, plugging in for the C. And I get 51.5 KSI. I'm closer, I'm closer, not quite the same. How close does it have to be? Mm, I don't know, half a KSI or so. So we're gonna keep guessing. Still not quite there. On to the next page. We got another F prime S. We got another C. We got, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Really, really, really close. Really, really close. So we're gonna go with the average of these two. We're gonna go with 52.4, because it's halfway in the middle. It's within half a KSI, so I'm super happy. So I'm gonna guess 52.4 KSI. We're gonna get our C of 6.25 inches. Now we get to get our A, which is beta one times C is five inches. And now we start to plug in. We find an, our AS1. Remember, that's when we break up. That's the amount of steel we take out right, to balance the steel from the, from the compression block. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go back and look at the theory video. And I solved for my AS1 to be 1.74 inches squared. And now I can find my moment. I'm gonna use this big nasty equation. This combines the two subsets, okay, that we, again, we talked about in the theory part one. So I'm gonna plug in everything I know here, my AS1, my FY, my D, my D prime. Here's my total A minus my AS prime. Here's my FY, there's my D, there's my A over two, and I get 5579 kip inches. I'm done, I'm done, we just did it, awesome. But that was, that was kind of a lot of work, don't you think? If we work the problem again, but this time, let's ignore the compression steel. Let's just act like it's not there. Like, what? What? But it's there. It's there. How can we just ignore it? Just hang with me. Hang with me. Let's act like it wasn't there. Let's work the problem again. If we do that, we can just use our normal, good old, easy, nice, beautiful ASFY times D minus A over 2 equation. We solve for our A here. We get 7.06. 
Then we plug in for our MN, our AS, our FY, that's our D minus A over two. We get 52.09 kip inches. That's a 6.6% increase. We went up by 6% by taking into account the compression steel. We went up by 6% by taking into account the compression steel. Is it worth your time and two pages of calculations for about a 7% increase in strength? I want you to do this as you work other problems. I, it doesn't take long to work it this way, and you'll find your strength doesn't go up by much. As a parting gift, I'm going to leave you this summary of everything we just did. These are the steps. You solve this equation, and we don't know f prime s. So you leave that as a variable. You solve this equation, and we don't know c. You're going to guess an f prime s. Usually assume it's f y or another good guess. And then you're going to check it. How do you check it? You put it in here. You solve for a c. You solve this. You get another f prime s. You compare these two one another. If they're not the same, you didn't guess right. How close do they have to be? About a half a ksi. Keep trying these until you get them to match. Make sure you guess smart. Once you figure that out, you're home free. You are home free. You can calculate your AS1. You can plug into this equation. A happens to be e equal to this. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. And don't count on getting a lot of extra strength from, from your double reinforced concrete members. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell other people. Let me know another problem or another topic you'd like me to cover. Thanks a bunch. Take care. Bye.